Hello, my name is Cameron Baker, and I'm a Team Center Application Engineer at Ceratech. Uh, this video I'm about to go over will show you how to edit existing style sheets and how to add new ones to Team Center. And I will go over examples for both how to add it to Ridge Client and Act Workspace. How this may be useful for you watching, by changing or creating style sheets, you're able to change what gets displayed for an item summary overview or a create dialog box. Or this can even be done with data sets, not just items. So for example, I'm on this item here, correct? And I go to my summary page. These attributes displayed here, name, description, you know, the creation date, all that gets controlled by a style sheet. And let's say that you'd like to change the information that gets displayed here or add more information here. You can do that through style sheets. The same can be done when you're creating items for the first time. Say you're creating a new item and you only get these basic four, five um, attributes to add. What if you wanted more attributes to show up for the item? You could change that through style sheets as well. Let's begin. I'm going to be using um, Rich Client. This is version, I believe it's 12.1. And um, the reason why I'm going to be using Rich Client mostly is because it can control four aspects of the style sheets, whereas the Active Workspace can only affect one. For the Rich Client, you can edit the existing Rich Client style sheets as well as the Active Workspace ones. Everything can, can be controlled from Rich Client. You can also create new ones from the Rich Client and the Active Workspace. So it can do all four things. It can edit and create new ones for both applications. Now, for Active Workspace, it can only do the one. It can only edit existing Active Workspace style sheets. It can't create anything new and it cannot touch anything in the rich client. So um, I will go over one example on how to edit existing inside Active Workspace for Active Workspace style sheets, but I'll mostly be inside the rich client. So first things first, uh, I'm logged in here. You need to make sure that your group and role is set to a DBA user. This will give you the right amount of privileges, otherwise you won't be able to do anything. And for our first um, example, we're going to edit existing ones. So to find the ones that exist, you need to do search, general, clear the fields. Type will always be XML rendering style sheet. So you click that for the type. Now, the name's going to be tricky because there's a lot of style sheets. So how do you narrow the list down? Since I want to change this for items I currently have, I'm just going to type in item with an asterisk on the end of it and search for that. I get a whole list down here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but the only ones I care about are item create and item summary. The summary controls the summary tab and the create controls the dialog box I showed you earlier. So if I come to item room summary and I come over to the viewer tab, this is how you get access to the style sheet. This is the code behind it all. So I go down and you kind of have to read through where you want to make the changes, but this is the overview right here. And I noticed object name and object description are the two attributes that show up right here. So if I decide to bring over two new attributes, these are my two new attributes. Now I actually created these attributes. inside my beam IDE. I added the attributes to the out of the box item. And while that's loading, well, I'm, I'm gonna mess with this because that, that'll take a minute. When you're done with your changes, you need to make sure you click apply. If you click out of this box, you'll get a message that'll say, should I ignore any new selections or always keep this page up or should I discard your changes? almost always just hit discard. If you click this ignore new selections, it'll be difficult to get to another style sheet that you may want to edit. But uh, I'm just going to click discard and then I'll go back to item summary. And here it is again. I'm going to paste my new attributes. And I will have click apply. A little asterisk symbol disappears. It's been changed. And I do the same for the item create. I come down here, 
This is the general. I don't know if you remember when we created it, but it was called general. And I'm going to put it right underneath the object description. I'm going to put these two new attributes. One's department and one's maturity code. I'm going to click apply. And in order to see the changes, you will need to exit out of the rich client to see them. So I'm going to exit out of it. And hopefully by now, the BMID is opened. It has. I come over to the item business object. I come over to my properties. And since this is my new project, it's going to have the prefix SE2. This is for my example. Now here you can see the two attributes were added here. That's why I can add what you just saw, the attributes, to the item. If you add attributes that are not, that don't exist, nothing will show up. So you need to add the attributes you want, new ones, here in the BMID. You save it, you deploy your template. Now, before we start Rich Client back up, you need to right click and go to its properties and you need to put this um, syntax in dash clean right in the target. The reason why you do this is because it's actually going to remove old configuration cache files and we want the new ones because we just updated the style sheet. So it won't know that anything's changed unless you generate new ones, which is what this is doing. So starting rich client again, I'm going to log back in as myself. And now we were going to create an item and we were going to view its summary. And you should see the two new attributes, maturity code and department. Okay, it's loaded. I'm coming to the home tab and I'm going to create a new item. I'll call, oops, my mistake. Click the custom item, we're not there yet. Item, you can give it an ID and a revision. I'll just call this one um, demo two. And as you noticed, there are two new attributes right here, department and maturity code. So for department, I'll just put quality and for maturity code. And I'll click finish. And it automatically opens up for me. If I go over to my summary tab and you have to be on item, that's very important. You'll notice the two new attributes show up right here. Now they won't show up for item revision because I did not create, um, I did not edit the style sheet for item revision. That is another style sheet type. If you want to change the item revision, what you'll need to do is come to the item rev summary and the item rev create. That's somewhere further down. Um, now, one thing that um, you don't need to bother with, and you might have noticed it, is that there's a register type and a property type. Do not mess with this if you're editing existing style sheets. Now we are on to the example of creating new style sheets. So I just created a new business object. I called it custom item. Here it is, my BMIDE, and I added two more attributes. So department and maturity code get added automatically, and I added sector and weight to my business object. So I got a new object, but I want a different style sheet. I don't want it to be the same as the item because if I change it here, it'll change it for both. But I want to change both of them separately. So what you need to do is you need to go to the style sheet that you want. We're going to use it as a template. And you come over and click File, Save As. Now, I've already created them. I put them underneath my style sheets folder. When you do create them for the first time, they'll show up under new stuff. I just moved them over because it's easier to organize. And when you are saving, you want to change this name. I put custom, just something to distinguish it from the out of the box one. And you can just change the description too. Another thing that you can do is change the actual file name here. So this one is the out of the box file. So I also just called this pretty much the same name, custom item rev summary. Then the purpose for that is anytime that you want to share this with other people, it just points to the fact that this is custom. This is not out of the box. If I come back to the home, here's my item create and my summary. So when you've saved it from either the create or the summary, you click on the viewer with the style sheet selected and 
I'm going to make my changes now. So this is for create. So you might notice these two were missing from this style sheet. Um, since I edited the last one, but I didn't save it afterward, these would appear by themselves. But um, I took them out just for the sake of this demo. So now I've got the two that already were, existed, and I'm adding two more just for this business object called custom item. Before you click save, you can click save, but you need to change the registered type to the business object you want to attach it to. So I chose custom item as my business object. And then the style sheet type chooses what gets changed about that business object. Do you want to change the summary? Do you want to change how it gets every time you save as, the dialog box for the create, all that. So I clicked create because this template that I got came from the item create style sheet. So I click apply and I'll do the same for the item summary. Custom item is my register type, summary is my style sheet type, and then I'll copy my code right here. Click apply. And then now I have to do it again. I have to close out of Rich Client. And I don't need to do the properties again because it's already there. So all I have to do is just double click, open it again, log back in. So I will create a new item. I'm going to go with my custom item this time. Click Next. And here they are. New attribute department and maturity code, and then even newer sector and weight. I'll call this one new demo. Department will be um, engineering design. Tree code will be 89R. Sector will be southwest. And for the weight, I will choose this. Click finish. Open up my new item, come over to the summary, and voila, you can see the four new attributes show up in the summary tab. And that's all there is to it as far as editing and creating new style sheets for Rich Client. Even though it's done in Rich Client, this is all for the Rich Client. Um, now, to show you how to edit existing Active Workspace files, log on to your onto your active workspace client you go to folder and we should see some here's the demo two so you notice that it does show up here so it so the rich client style sheets does affect what shows up inside uh, this demo two However, if you wanted to change the style sheet from Active Workspace instead of relying on the rich client, what you need to do is you need to go to your homepage, you need to log on as a DBA user, same thing, and click on your XRT editor tile. It'll create a new tab, go back to home, go back to your folder, and go to the business object that you'd like to edit. So let's say you wanted to edit the demo two business object, which is just item. Once you got to the page you want, you'll go over to the XRT editor, and you'll notice the page changed from the last time. This is now showing AW0 item summary for show object. And if you look down here underneath the properties, these two attributes got added. Now, if you want to change this, all you got to do is click the start edit and make your changes here. When you're done, make sure that you hit save, or you can just cancel if you're not sure. So I just click saved. And obviously nothing changed here. You still have the same uh, attributes listed here. And that's pretty much that there is to how you edit style sheets with Active Workspace. Now, if we go back to Rich Client, and this time we want to create a new style sheet for active workspace it works almost the same way so you'll you notice that this had a slightly different name instead of item summary it's awp0 item summary so if i use that name for my search A 
going to put an asterisk on the end. Here is this for show object summary. And you can do file save from here and create a new style sheet. And that's how you control new actor workspace style sheets from within the rich client. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I, th I know there's a lot to take in there. Um, be sure that when you are editing um, existing style sheets, that um, you're very careful and you document the changes um, because there's nothing to go back to. This is the original document. Best practice, it is always best to just create a new style sheet. That way you have something to fall back to as a backup. Um, that's what we do here at Saratech, and that's what I recommend for all users. Um, that's all I have for the video today. So thank you for watching, and feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.